got in a big fight because I'm like, how come you're allowed to have one, two, three, twenty secretaries, but I can't have one Ricky? I mean, really, what's the big deal? And you know, we have the rule. It's not cheating if it's waist up. If you're upside down, still doesn't count. I was like, really? How come you're allowed to have all these scales? And as soon as I have one, I'm the hand? Are you kidding me? I know, I was like, if this is gonna be a marriage, you know, it has to be equal, you know? You know, till death do us part, you know, forgiveness, forgetting, whatever, whatever, it's fine. Well, thank you, Gina, that's what I'm saying. But, oh my god, Gina, look who it is, look who it is, darling, come in, come in. What are you doing here on Valentine's? Oh my goodness, stay with Gina. I know last time I thought it was happening, you know, because he took you to that spot, and that is the spot where, you know, everyone gets proposed to, you know. But, I mean, you don't see me wearing my ring today. Oh, no, that's, that's a story for later. Me and the husband, we got in a bit of a, you know, lover's quarrel, enemies quarrel, something like that. But I think, really, tonight is going to happen. You're going to get proposed to. Uh, you know, I don't want to put it out there, you know, I'm not making any promises, but do you want to ask Gino if it's happening tonight? Well, I'm just, I want to know how high I have to tease a hair. I mean, if there's going to be photographers and whatnot, he has to be up here. Okay, well, maybe just shoot him a casual text, you know? Gina, come on, take one for the team, okay? Your client's fine. They fell asleep in their chair. I mean, no, don't get me wrong, I love Betty, what, she's 96 now, she's amazing, but she's having a great old nap, okay, just let it be, text Gino. I know Betty's been coming to Rapunzel's for like years and years, I mean, I think honestly, before even hairdressing was invented, yeah, even before Rapunzel's was here, we actually built the shop around Betty, yeah, she's lovely doll, also makes the best tiramisu i'm just throwing it out there if you ever need it the lady fingers oh so delicious anyways though so it's happening at night i can feel it in my bones you know cupid is out i'm sure you can see gina you know dolled the shop all up we've got got these hearts hanging around i mean God forbid she lets me buy a new curling iron, but we could spend all this money at home since buying decor for the place. I mean, at least I don't have all the plants. Um, okay, fine. You're right. You're right. It is cute. It's on theme. You know, I do. I don't mind it. I, I do love me some pink, so it is kind of cutesy, but seriously, Gina, I mean, between her stealing all my clips and not letting me buy the actual, you know, tools we need starting to get on my nerves a little bit. I'm kidding, darling. You know I love you. Your family, your family. But I do just want to kind of pull your hair a little bit. But in a good way, it's fine. You know how Ricky pulls mine? <laughs> Come on, that was an inside joke. Laugh it up a little. Oh, me and Ricky. <sighs> you know, we've been playing around a little bit. Tis the season, you know. What are, what are the kids calling it these days? Cuffing season or something? Yeah, well, he's got a real good pair of cuffs. Let's just put it that way, pink and fuzzy. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so, you've got gorgeous makeup on. Did you get it done? You did it yourself? Oh my goodness. You really have to teach me your ways because look at your contour. Oh my goodness. You can slice a block of cheese with those cheekbones. Gina, look at her face. Well, I mean, look at her face, Victoria's Secret Angel. You're looking like Angelina Jolie with those cheekbones. Speaking of, did you get your lips done? I was gonna say, because they are looking plump. Oh my goodness, I love. You know what, though? I know exactly what we're gonna do for you today. We're gonna do something really cutesy, okay? This is the outfit you're wearing tonight? What are you wearing, then? Ooh, with the leather pants. Oh, Gino loves some leather. He's gonna love that. Okay, so you know what? I think we should kind of do like the good with the bad girl type of thing, you know? So you got the leather pants, you got the boots. Then Gina, she actually did something good, you know? She did buy these. These are some cute little red bows. 
you know, she bought them for herself, and then I said, sweetheart, I love you, you know, but, but they just, they're really not your style, but a minute hair, I felt like it was Pippi Longstopping type of thing, I was like, you know who would really look good in these? A babysitter, and then I got worried about my husband, so, oh, yeah, you gotta worry about everyone these days with the husbands, I mean, honestly, he's a dog. But we could put these in your hair. I thought they'd be real cute, you know? We could do like, just kind of clip one in the side, a clip one in the back. Right? Yeah, and then a red lip, you know? You've got these, got these smooches on you. I think we do a red lip to kind of match that. And if you're doing like a lacy black bodysuit oh, with the black pants, the leather ones, yeah? Okay, that's the look. Let's just add the red in the lips and the bow. It's going to be kind of like a grease moment. Ugh, I'm so excited about it. Okay, first and foremost, you're lucky I brought my makeup bag today. I actually have a date myself, too. Ugh, as if now with the husband. Who even knows who he's taking out tonight? No, me. I've got a date with Ricky. Fucker up to me, so I can apply the red lip. Oh, yeah. I am so excited. He's taking me to one of those like old-fashioned cinemas like way back And you basically get to sit in these old-fashioned cars and like watch the movie. I'm literally so excited I mean, I don't think I've ever been this excited except for that one time my husband said we should get a divorce Yeah, you know, I was super happy that day. Gina, do you remember that? I know I think I had like four bottles of rosé. We were dancing on the tables. It was amazing yeah, then I found out he wanted to get half of what I have. Are you kidding me? Half of Rapunzel's? My. In my dreams. Yeah, right. So, you know, I had to stay with him. But it's what it is. I mean, sometimes he's fine to look at. Sometimes, I, you know, like to throw a plate at him. It is what it is. I like to just call it, mm, you know, tough love. Yeah, he's pretty good at dodging things by now, though. I mean, he deserves it. Oh yeah, he's been bringing so many new people over. I'm like, disgusting. We've got the kids in the house. Like, come on. He says it's for client meetings and all this whatnot. He's starting a business. I'm like, the only business he has starting, sweetheart, is, I don't know, like, only fetish or something, okay? So just, ugh, I don't even, you know what? Let's not even talk about him. He's terrible. Okay. Speaking of, just checking here. I have my laptop open. I was actually watching The Real Housewives in New Jersey. Oh, I love it. It's so good. I love the drama. Okay, we got your red lip on. It's time for your hair. I'm gonna brush it out, okay? You know what? I love that you just trust me now to do your hair all the time. You just don't even bother doing it yourself. I love it. It's so fun to me. Oh, what am I here for? You know, this is literally my job. Okay, good. So, brushing this out. Your hair is so soft. You know what? You've got that in love glow. You love Ricky back? Oh, Ricky. Oh my goodness. Oh, could you imagine? No, seriously, there's no way in chance you're stealing him from me. I had to wait 20 years to get him back. Gina, yeah, but I just said I said Ricky instead of Gino. Yeah, right, I'm sharing that thing. You love Gino back. Oh, sometimes they do give me a good laugh. But no, he's really sweet, and he's been clean for a real good long time now. You know, he hasn't even been doing the real, real bad stuff. You know, my brothers, bless their hearts, but, you know, sometimes you just have to really turn a blind eye. I just, you know, usually walk into the house, step over a few things, you know, kind of move the duffel bags just out of the way, you know, pick up whenever I need to pick up, make the exchange whenever, whatever, you know, how it goes, family business stuff. But Gino's, he's really trying to get away from all that, wants to go back to school. Is he telling you? Yeah, wants to become a dental hygienist or something. I was like, Gino, you're going soft, seriously, but, you know, to each their own if that's what he wants to do. Yeah, well, honestly, I think it's all because of you, sweetheart. I think you've really tried to, you know, you've had your, your good energy, just kind of 
little sprinkle all over him and now he's going to the good side. I mean, it's not going to be easy to get out, let's put it that way, but you know, everyone does love Gino, so you know, he'll still have to help out with that family business time to time. You know, he's really good with the shovel, but you know, if he wants to do the whole dental hygienist thing, let him do it. I don't mind. I'll get a free cleaning, you know. Give me some white teeth. Flash Ricky a smile, you know. Flash Ricky something else. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, doll. You know me. Love me a good little laugh. Okay. I do, though. I notice he got a few little split ends. And I'm just gonna kind of clean those up. Honestly, the back looks fine. Just like around the face. Just gonna clean it up. Add some more face frame and layers. <gasps> you know what we could do? could totally surprise Gino tonight, give you some bangs. Oh, yeah, you're right, you know, that's too risky, it's too risky. Especially if he's got a whole proposal planned, don't want to throw him a left hook there and, you know, confuse him. He's a bit slow, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just trim up then. Yeah, I'm thinking just, just face frame and lay. See how I got these little ones around, around my face? Yeah, you know, I think that's super cute. Ricky loves him, so I'm sure Gina will, too. Let's just do a bit of that. I will say, though, look at Gina. She got these new cute pink hairdress and scissors for Valentine's. I do love me a theme. I mean, I prefer when the theme is like, I don't know, 50 shades, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I do, I do love the pink scissors. Gina, I will give you that. You did good with these. Okay, but I'm serious. I do need a new curling iron. No, it's a business expense, okay? Just like how my, you know, table lamps are a business expense. I need to be able to read at night to calm the stress from all the clients coming in, you know? It's, it's a business expense. You can write anything off these days. No, seriously, again, we've got really good accountants. Yeah. My uncle, he's one of our accountants. I can't remember the last time we had to pay taxes. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to say that. I mean, we pay taxes. Yeah. How much? Like $30 a year? Is that what it is nowadays? You pay 20 grand in taxes? My goodness. What are you making? Oh my goodness. Gino found a good one. You know, I'm jealous of you, babe. Couldn't even tell you what Rapunzel's makes nowadays. Gina handles all the finances. You know, she's probably hogging some of it. You've got all those crystals in your house. You don't even need crystal glasses. Who are you inviting over other than me? You know I'm fine drinking out of a solo cup. I swear she's hawking it, but you know I'm fine. Ricky treats me just fine. I get all sorts of treats. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda go down the side a bit. You know what? Take my little tail comb here. Just, yeah. I want this to be really just kind of choppy, a little bit messy, just like around the face, face frame and layers, you know? We want it to look almost like you've been razzle-dazzled, let's say. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to use these. These are the shears. These are better for, for the ends, making it a little bit more rough, rough around the edges, just like Gino. Good. Oh yeah, this is Perfect, my love. Me? Oh yeah, I want a little bit more blondes. What do you think? It's like my roots are already starting to come in. I asked Gina to do a root touch-up for me. She's, she's too busy and I have to pay as if Gina. Okay, well, I wasn't laughing, was I? It wasn't a funny joke. And seriously, I need my roots done. I can't have, I can't have these dates with Ricky looking like this. I am living the life right now. Drives me around on this motorcycle, takes me on all these grand dates, you know. I come home with all these presents. My husband like, where'd you get all that stuff? Where'd you get all the money for all that shopping? I'm like, as if you care. I mean, I know you've been buying diamond necklaces and I'm not wearing any. Plus, I don't even wear silver, so I know they're not for me. You know what? His lips sail up real tight after that. It's got nothing to say. Oh yeah, because he knows. He knows. He knows. I knows what he knows. So. 
oh yeah, he doesn't even bother trying to hide things anymore. I'm like, mm, I know I'm not a 34E, okay? Seriously? At least trying to hide the evidence. Yeah, at least he stopped going for our kids' teachers. That one really bugged me. Especially because they weren't even getting straight A's. I'm like, if you're gonna do it, do it right. At least make sure they're getting straight A's. Seriously, come on. What's the whole point of blackmail anyways? I'm just gonna do these ones a little bit thicker here. Because you've got a little bit of a side part happening. So, I'm just gonna thin these ones out a little bit. Oh, that's real nice. So where's Gino taking you tonight, did he say? Oh, things a surprise. Oh my goodness. Is he picking you up for hair or what's happening? Yeah, it's a bit early. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Go have a coffee. Go have a, you know, a little croissant or whatever, you know, help ease the nerves, okay? Can I go get your nails done after this, though? Let me see the paws. Yeah, sweetheart, you're gonna have to get your nails done, especially because you're gonna be taking photos. I'm not, I'm not saying, Gina, did he reply? You're gonna wanna get your nails done. You're gonna wanna get your nails done. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. But it's probably happening, okay? So you're gonna wanna get your nails done. I would say just like a nice French tip, okay? Maybe even like a little red heart would look cute, match your hair and whatnot. No, sweetheart, don't be nervous. You love Gino, right? Are you ready for this? I mean, if you're not ready, well, we'll just, you know, we'll send them like, you know, a secret, a secret code message in the family, okay? Because if you want more time to think about it, I know you got a family, I know you got a lot of things going on, a lot of decisions happening. Just got out of that serious relationship on like a year ago now. I mean, it has been a year, so. If you need a bit more time, just let us know. We'll let him know not to do anything crazy. Yeah. I can tell, I can tell you really love him. I can tell you're just infatuated. And I'm so excited to have you in the family. You know what? You could start even working here at Rapunzel's. That's true, you do have a real nice fancy job, but you could start working here. It'd be so much fun. Just like on weekends or something, just come hang out. Or I can just get you, you know, do your hair all the time now because you're family. Oh, trust me, it's all going to be so much fun. I'm so excited, and we still want to plan, like, a trip to, like, Kirks and Caicos in Mexico or wherever the heck, Cuba, I don't know. We didn't end up going. Ask Gina why we didn't end up going. Yeah, rolled her ankle. I mean, are you kidding me? Seriously? I was embarrassed for her. I'm like, you're not even 60. Betty over there is in better shape than you. Gina, Seriously? Say, who rolls their ankle getting out the car? Okay? It's not even like you have a truck. <sighs> Seriously, anyways, rolled it pretty bad. I think it was like, what do you call it? Like a break or a fracture? I don't know. She had to have one of those boots. And I was making fun of her every day. I was like, look at you, walking in here, stomping around with your big old boot. You know, wouldn't want you to have to put your foot down on any decisions. <laughs> probably why she's hogging some of the money from Rapunzel's, yeah. But regardless, anyways, couldn't go. So we still do want to do a girl's trip. It'd be so fun to have you come along to suntan, margaritas, pina coladas, pool boys. Okay, finally the pool boys for me and Gina. Gina, stop it. I know you've been playing around. I know you Sometimes you come in here, you smell like different colognes. I know you don't wear cologne. Gina, you can't hide it from me. I've, been, I've known you for years, okay? As if. I know she's been fooling around. I mean, I don't even know who with. Could be like the mayor or someone, seriously. Maybe it's someone famous. Gina, if it's someone famous, you do have to buy me a really nice fur coat, okay? I really do want that. 
know, vintage, of course. I want to look like, you know, super classy with a big fur coat, red nails, red lipstick, that type of thing. Okay, I'm going to apply this delicious smelling serum in your hair. It smells so good. It's going to have Gino all over you. I think it's, what do they call one of those? I don't know. The, th the smells where it just makes people, like, go crazy over you. I forget what it's called. Well, Ricky has one of those because I'm all over him. I'm pouncing like a cougar. Okay, good. Lovely there, lovely there. Yeah, he got me this charm bracelet. Got me every time we go on a new date, he gets me a charm. I love it so much. Soon it's going to be filled right up. I know he's such a sweetheart, honestly. I've never been treated this good. He wants me to get a divorce so we can get married, but I'm like... Honestly, don't even know if I'd fit into a wedding dress nowadays. I mean, you what? You are looking gorgeous. You want that new diet that's out right now? I don't know. It's like some type of juice cleanse. Yeah, no, I try to stay away from all that. Yeah, one time I did a juice cleanse. I mean, I got so tiny, turned sideways, couldn't even see me. Yeah, it was real bad. And I like a bit of, you know, a little bit of something on my bones. Gives more for Ricky to cuddle at night, you know. I do like that. Plus, you know, I just think it's a bit more feminine. Just my personal opinion. You know, to each their own. I, I didn't say anything, Gina. I didn't say anything. Look at the butt on it, though. I mean, it's not incredible. Ugh, I didn't get those jeans, sadly, but... Oh, my goodness. I mean... I wish she's like a Kardashian. If she wasn't one of us, I'd swear she was a Kardashian with that thing. Okay, but it's natural. This is a natural. This is natural. And it's like, seriously, unless Gina, did you get work done that I don't know about? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Love you, sweetheart. Okay, it's time to curl your hair, okay? What I'm going to do first is I'm going to just clip some of your hair back. I'm going to do really big, loose curls. You know how I love it. And after, we'll tease a little bit, give it some of that volume, you know? Good. And just clip this bit here, too. We'll do the bottom half first, and then we'll do the top half. Good. Okay. This is turned on already. I was using this earlier for my hair. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ready? Just gonna do the bottom half here. I love this thing. It's like a little straightener curling iron in one. It's so good. I'd totally let you borrow it, but it's the only one I have because Gina won't buy any new ones. Anyway, so I'm trying to think of what Gina might take you tonight. Well, I mean, dinner and a movie I think is a bit too basic, you know. If he's planning something, he wouldn't just do that, no. He might take you to go look at the stars somewhere. It's a bit chilly out though, so I don't know what he's planning. Is there anything you ever said you really wanted to do? Oh, I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. I'm not going to spoil it, but I know exactly what he's planning. Yeah. No, because the thing is, he kind of mentioned something around, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil it, but he did mention something to me in passing one time. And, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really think twice because we were kind of, you know, busy dealing with some of the situation. But, now I know exactly what he was talking about. Oh my goodness, you are going to love it. It is going to be so gorgeous, like a dream come true. You're going to feel like a princess. No, literally, I am so excited for you. I'm a bit jealous, honestly. I mean, Ricky plans me some really amazing dates, but... I know I'm starting to get the sniffles. I think I'm getting a little bit of a cold, you know. Can't blame me. It is that time of the year. Plus, the little ones are driving me crazy. They come back from school and they're tss, 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 sneezing all over me. It's like, oh my god, get a Kleenex. If you're gonna sneeze on anyone, sneeze on your father. My gosh. Ugh, gross. I mean, it's disgusting. I love the little ones, love the kiddos, but I mean... I mean, thank goodness they're not all from my husband, you know. Did I say 
that? No, I mean, they're all his. They're all his, I promise, I promise. One or two might be Ricky, so I can't remember. I honestly know I can't remember nowadays. It's been so long. Not even me going through menopause or whatever, but... Yeah, no, because one of them has curly hair. And Ricky does have some... Does have some curly tendrils runs in his family. His ma is the sweetest. She loves me. She knows every bit of everything I've been through, you know. She's a real doll. Doesn't judge me at all. Oh, look at me rhyming again. Seriously, I've been writing poetry, though, for Ricky. I'm trying to do, like, that cutesy, like, Romeo and Juliet type of stuff. Oh, I think it's been working. He treats me real nice, like I said. Okay, let's take some of these clips out here and do the other half. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. Okay, and this one here. Lovely. It's gonna kind of smooth that out a little bit. We'll tease it all up. We'll give you some volume. Even though I could use a little bit of teasing, you know. You can never have too much volume. You know, I always wish I was born, like, in the... Like in the 60s, you know? Not like Betty Boop over there, that's a bit too old, but I'm just thinking like in the 60s, they had the big voluminous hair, you know? It was gorgeous with the big makeup. I love it. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna do some curls away from your face, of course. Oh, and the bow. I almost forgot about the red bow. That is gonna be so gorgeous. It's gonna look so cute, you know? And photos and everything. I don't, I don't know, I'm just saying there might be a photographer there, I might get some photos done. Your makeup, it was the oh, perfect look for tonight, seriously. You couldn't have done any better, honestly, darling. Seriously, you look gorgeous. Jaina. Jaina. Join the back, sorry. Jaina. Listen, sweetheart, I love you. You know I love you. You're my favorite. Honestly, I mean, out of all the family members I've ever had, if I had to pick one to be on an island with, it would be you. You know I love you so much. Okay, right, I'll get to the point. I'm starving. I'm really starving. Can you get me a sandwich from sales? Please, please, Turkey Club. I am just, I'm begging you. I've been working so hard today. Are you kidding me? I was here right on time. An hour late is still on time in my books, and I don't have any clients. Okay, no, but I've been working real hard. I've been working real hard, Gina. Are you seriously going to give me that right now? Do you see all these hearts hanging around? Who put those up for you? Who put those up for you? Yeah, me. Because you said, oh, my foot's still a bit sore, my ankle from, you know, rolling it, whatever, whatever. Just get it amputated already. So please. Go get me a sandwich. Yeah, but tell him to be light with the mayonnaise. You know, it kind of goes overboard. It's weird. No, but seriously, I feel like he's trying to drown me in it. I made one comment one time, and now, seriously. Do you want anything? Do you want any sandwich or anything from sales? He does the best sandwiches. You sure? It's on Gina. No, Gina, I'm not doing that. You owe me. You owe me. Last week, I bought you a salad from that really expensive, like, poke place down the road that's new. Do you know how much that cost me? It cost me $36. $36. Sandwich from sales? Seven bucks, okay? Super cheap and delicious. That poke whatever whatever had so many rainbow colors, and I mean, ugh, it literally, it looked like you were eating a box of crayons, Okay? Oh, and plus I had to deal with the people in there. There's all these like Pilates moms and whatnot and poke balls. Seriously, Jim, I'm never going back. You owe me. Are you sure? Even just like a coffee? Okay, yeah. She wants a coffee. Gina, she's family. You better get her whatever she wants. Get her a donut too to celebrate tonight. Okay. Good here. Yeah, we're almost done with the curls. So excited to tease everything, get it all ready here. It's gonna look so good. No, don't worry, she'll be back in a few. Sales usually isn't busy around this time. Yeah, it's a bit too late in the day. We missed lunch rush hour, thank goodness. Otherwise, trust me, it would have been crazy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of your hair and I'm just gonna tease it a bit. Yeah, oh, that is brilliant. Oh my goodness. 
you are gonna look so gorgeous tonight. Oh, the volume. Don't worry, I'm making sure I'm giving you lots of volume so it's not gonna fall. You know what? You can even take this teasing comb so you can touch up later. How many hours do you have until your date again? Okay, yeah. So have just enough time to get your nails done. If you go down the street, okay? Um, it's, they've got a real nice, it's like a real big, like, pink neon -y sign. Honestly, they're, they're switching between names, but my girl in there, Jennifer, you go say, go say, you know, I came from Rapunzel's, they recommended you, instantly she'll get you in, bada bing, bada boom, get you a fresh new set, tell you you're on a bit of a time crunch, and also you've got a really big, important thing you need photos for, you know, got a big, big modeling shoot for your nails, basically, she'll do you real nice. Okay, yeah, she kills, it gives the best damn massages, it's incredible. Okay. Yeah, I would say go right after this. I mean, it's in the day, so she shouldn't be too busy. She's usually busy on weekends, but she does my nails. Look at them. See? Aren't they so cute? I did little black French tips, you know, with the little bows. Ricky loves when I get the nail designs. He pays for my nails. Well, yeah. He likes to treat me real, real nice. How a lady should be treated. Okay. A bit more over here, you know. We really want to just give you that volume. Okay, that's perfect. You know what? Now we need to seal the deal. Use this. This is like a texture hairspray, okay? It's going to give you exactly what we're looking for like the volume, but also like a bit of texture, look like you kind of rolled around in the bed sheets a little bit, but not too much, you wouldn't want to upset Gino, you know, he's a real sensitive guy underneath it all, yeah, I'm sure you've seen that side of him, has he cried yet, uh, yeah, he's a real ugly crier, I think he only ever cried one time, and like his football team won or something, I don't even know, don't keep up with sports that much, but yeah, he's a real ugly crier, I mean, he might cry tonight, I know how in love with you he is, like, yeah. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Every time we have family dinners, he's, like, always talking about you constantly. And I'm like, I know. She comes into the salon all the time. She's brilliant. I mean, if I was playing for the other team, you wouldn't stand a chance, Gino, because I'd whisk her off her feet so fast. I'd buy you roses, buy you new Louboutins, buy you jewelry, everything, anything you wanted. But I play for the other team, and I'm with Ricky, so, you know. It is, I mean, sorry, I'm married and I'm also, you know, with Ricky. It's a two for one deal, but if I was playing for your team, you know, well, you know what I mean. You know, us girls, girls, then I would totally win. Gina would stand a chance. Oh, seriously, I'm like the best partner. I spoil Ricky, too. Okay, let's spray your hair. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah? Ugh. Gina, oh, seriously. Driving me nuts, you know. She's skimping on the stuff we need, buying the stuff we don't. Let's see. Here. Um. Oh, yeah, let's try this one. Okay, there's some in this, thank goodness. I swear, look at I have to buy these little like travel sizes now. That's all she lets me do. Okay, ready? I'm just gonna kinda cover your eyes actually. Good, that should be enough. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tease a little bit more, okay? Yeah, just kind of, oh, that is perfect. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it really takes to the teaser. Amazing. That volume is just what every girl dreams of, I tell you. Oh, incredible. You know what, though? We really should get you in here, though, for a nice root touch-up again. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing with you. It looks amazing. And what I did last time was I kind of blended it a bit so that as it grows out, it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty natural, you know? Old wise, you know, old wise trick there. But it's starting to get a bit long, so we could get you in, I say. Yeah, but there's no pressure, honestly. Still looks amazing. You you probably got another couple months in you. Me, I like to get fresh touch-ups all the time with my blondes, yeah. Just to kind of like liven it up a bit. Okay, now I've got this perfume. It's really delicious, really nice. I just got it. Actually, what am I saying? Ricky got it for me. It's 
Smells so delicious, like a dream, yeah. Oh, smell it. Amazing, right? Okay, I'm gonna spray some in your hair so that when you like turn, give them a kiss or whatever, it smells so delicious. has the best taste. I mean, oh, stop it, stop it. You're too sweet, darling. I love you. Okay, cannot wait to have you in the family. Okay, I didn't say anything. I didn't spoil any surprises. I didn't say anything. Okay, let's get this bow in your hair. I think we just do one at the back, yeah. Okay, do you mind just turning your head to the side? I don't want to do too much. It's a really tiny clip, so I can't hold that much hair. Okay, just like that. Good. Perfect. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, face me. Okay, well, you know what? Here, yeah, I'm just going to kind of use this and just smooth it back a little bit there. Just because you got a couple flyaways, but I'm keeping the volume, don't worry. Good. And then I'm just going to pull out a couple of those face framing pieces that we did. You know, sometimes when I get really excited, I start doing an English accent, and I'm like, Oh my goodness, Gina, doesn't that look amazing? Oh, I cannot believe it. I'm not too good with accents, you know, but, you know, maybe I am. Oh my goodness, did you hear that? Just kind of started flowing out of me. Maybe I need to get me an English boy or something. Oh my goodness. Now we can handle it just go like me. You look like a dream. You look absolutely incredible. Honestly, sweetheart, like, you're just stunning. You're one of a kind. And seriously, if you're not ready for it with Gino, no pressure at all, okay? Because you could have any boy you wanted in this town. Anyone. Seriously. So, whether it be Gino or not, you know, I'll give him some tissues for, you know, his daddy issues, whatever. He can cry it off. You mean that? You really love him? Oh, that's sweet and you don't have to say that just because you know you know women and children they're always fine you know it's always the men that you know might face some certain circumstances you know i'm just saying we'll keep you around regardless darling yeah oh. okay you're such a doll i love you so much you're so sweet you're gonna be so amazing in the family i'm gonna invite you over for dinners you're gonna be in the salon all the time it's gonna be amazing kids can go for play dates. I can't believe we haven't done that already. Seriously. Yeah, we'll have to. Oh, good time and Gina. Back just in time. Give my sandwich. Oh, that's all. He always goes way too, like, way too hot on the mayo. It's weird. Get her a coffee. Okay, good. Okay, at least you got some energy. You can take your coffee. Go get your meals done, okay? I have so much fun tonight, honestly. Wishing you had the best of luck. Okay, me and Gina, 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 wish her luck. Okay, I mean, don't mind her. She's honestly, she's in a bit of an attitude because I made a bias lunch. But I mean, seriously, I, I bought a thirty-six dollar poke bowl. Like, are you kidding me? Like, with some raw fishies, I could just go down to the ocean and buy you one of those. Seriously. Like, <laughs> Anyways, but right, seriously. You're gonna have so much fun tonight, okay? You're so beautiful, so gorgeous. You have my number, right? So you can text me if you need anything. Oh, yeah. Take this, okay? It's my magical teas and comb. Brings real good luck, okay? You get the best teas with this one. So you take it. You can do some touch-ups, okay? And you need some red lipstick or you got one at home? You got one, okay. So touch up your lips as well later. Okay, you can have so much fun. Best of luck, babes, okay? I love you so much. Welcome to the family. Okay, bye bye. Oh, Gina, she is such a doll. I'm so excited to have her. Are you, Gina, are you jealous? That's what it is. You're jealous. You're jealous that she's coming into the family and you think I'm going to give her more attention than you. Gina, at the end of the day, you're my one true love, okay? That would never happen. You know how much I love you. Seriously, if I didn't love you that much, I wouldn't bug you as much as I do, okay? Honestly, you're my very favorite. And I'm not just saying that because 
I also want a coffee and kind of forgot to tell you. Please, please, I love you so much, please. Okay, fine, I'll bake you those muffins tomorrow. I'll bring him to the salon, I know if you love him, please.